let's we see about NLP nowadays NLP used in all the places like in Google search uh, in uh, Google translation image processing and sentiment analysis so the NLP comes in all the places it's play very important role in the AI machine learning and deep learning let's we see now what are the places what is NLP what are the types and what are the places NLP involved in process and do his activities based using NLP what are the player what are the places the works going on okay basic NLP this resource I get from the neuron let's we see how this will we will learn what is NLP what are the types and what are the places NLP is used to work introduction to NLP natural language processing is a subfield of linguistics computer science and artificial intelligence concerned with the interaction between computer and human language in particularly how to program computers to process and analyze large amount of natural language data this is the main part to interaction between computer and the human it will work and behave like a human and for example we NLP is used in both machine learning and deep learning if we have the few data the machine learning is a good option to do the sentiment analysis and um, image processing and translation and text classification all places we can use but in case nowadays the data is increasing very huge in this uh, place the um, machine learning is not uh, suitable to use so we will use deep learning in the NLP we can use RNN here come in next pro project we will use RNN to do all this NLP works okay why NLP useful NLP enables computer to understand natural language as human do for example if any humans can speak we will understand so because our brain is uh, modified and uh, prepared based on the previous histories if you ask this computer it the computer will not understand the human language so we will do this um, with uh, using NLP we will do the language it will understand by the computers whether language is spoken or written natural languages process language processing uses artificial internet to take real world input real world input process it and make sense this way computer can understand so it will take the input from the users and make some process it will make into the uh, way the human the computer can understand this is the place the NLP is working so in real world what are the places NLP is working okay. if we take the Google is NLP working in Gmail like spam classification spaces outlook I see uh, what I say spam classification inbox calendar event extraction these are the places it's working why space assistance Apple Siri Google assistance Microsoft all the places modern search engines such as Google being in the Google itself in the search itself, it will bring the information 
based on the histories or what we require this or all or works with the help of nlp see machine translation service such as google translation microsoft translator amazon translate nowadays it will translate more than 135 languages so these are all two with the help of nlp so various nlp tasks language modeling this is a task of predicting what the next word in the syntax will be based on the history of previous word call of the task probability of sequence of words appear in the given language language model is used for building solution for a wide variety of problems such as speech recognition optical character recognition OCR with VN using the NLP we can retrieve the data from the image or PDF and make the data in proper format we can get retrieved data using from the handwriting also machine translation spelling if you write something in the chat it will make the spell correct also so the if, if you write okay uh, hi dear how are you if it do writes like this it will automatically bring the next data based on the previous histories text classification this is the task of bucketing the text into known set of category based on the content text classification by for the most popular task in the mlp is from google emails by my identification to scientific analysis so it will classify that is based on the categories it will read and make the make classify the text based on the um second based on the sentence informations so we can if it takes uh, if you send some data it will predict and say if this is the positive data or negative data so this is belongs to food or sports or politics so most of the in use it will be categories based on this format information extraction if you have some unstructured data format for example in the image or pdf it will get the data and make the data data in the proper format as i indicate this is a task of extracting really information from the text such as calendar events from email or number of people mentioned in the social media post for example if you send any resume to the company nowadays they will not read one by one they will extract information what they need for example if anybody apply they need to i will gather the information automatically how many years is the person experience and qualifications this can they can get automatically information retrieval as we said is a task of finding document relevant to the user queries the large collection application like google search or well-known use case of information retrieval so it will retrieve the information using the user queries from the large collections conversational agent this is a task of building dialogue system that can converse in human language so it will um, if you send any request or any question the boat or the machine is still automatically replay based on the same like the human based on the previous informations take summarization this aims task aims to create short summary of long document while retaining the core content and preserving the overall meaning of the text in this will help us to make small summary of all the data it will reduce the time for reading and for urgent purpose we can read the short information and make use question and answer this is the task of building system automatically answer the question based on the answer the question um, posted in the natural language 
this is the example to asking question based on the question and give the answers machine translation this is a task of converting a piece of text from one language to another language tools like google translation or common application of the task this application all we know if we send any language it will translate and give the language what we want now it can detect and give that data based on the language translation tools topic modeling this is a task of uncovering the topic structure large question document topic modeling is a common text mining tool and used in a wide range of domain from lecture to bio information so this in the collection of documents based using the topic modeling it will make clusters of the document so if you know, this is the the place what are the easy to hard subject spell correcting if you write something it will automatically check the spelling keyboard information retrieval also is automatically bring the next words based on the previous histories this is the list of topics it will work using the nlp from easy to hard stage so what is the language we now we learn what is the nlp what are the type what are the places nlp is okay so now we will think what is the language language is a structure system of communication that involve complex combination of the constitutive components such as character or sentence so we know this language if the machine will need to learn based on what syntax this will learn we will see now we can think of human language as composed of four major building blocks phonemus morphemus and lexemus syntax and context this is the main thing we can make conversation as sequence building blocks of language phonemus are the smallest you know sound in the language that may not have any meaning by themselves but can induce meaning when uttered in sound with other phonemus for example this is the b b not have any many if you add bat it have many the same like this the with the uh, help of another phonemus it will make the correct sound morphemus and lexemus a morphemus is the smallest unit of language that is a meaning it is formed by the combination of phonemus not all more morphemus are the words but all prefix and suffix are the morphemus we take the unbreakable one it's a morphemus able is a morphemus break if you make connect all then it will give the proper meanings syntax is the rules of to construct grammatically correct sentence of the force and base in the language syntax structure this is the way the informed sentence will be syntax they this is a now verb is based on now based on this it will be syntax context context is how various words in the language come together to convey a particular meaning context includes long term reference old knowledge common sense along with the literal meaning of the word and phrase so complex and we talk such as sarcasm detection summation topic modeling so approaches to model which the definition to solve the energy problem of comfort in the case is strict machine learning and deep learning so a base similar to the other uva language here attempt the digestion if we 
pay his own building rules of the Toscan hands. So in the machine learning, we, I, as I said, we use a, an NLP with proper data format. Just image. So a machine learning takes to operate with the textual data, just that they use the other form of data, such as image, speech, structured data. Supervised machine learning taking such as classification. It's a classification like what we are saying. They can say positive, negative. And regression method you heavily use with various NLP tasks. For example, Navy bias, support vector machine, hidden markout model. So if you have huge data, as I said here, huge search in using a neural network to deal with the complex and structured data. So neural network will be difficult because of the unstructured data language is hinted and complex and unstructured as here for being more of a better representation learning capability to understand and solve language task the fifth popular deep neural network architecture you see or nn lsdm cnn and transformer so what is the big challenge the NLP facing ambiguity and creativity of human language are two of the characters that make NLP a demanding area to work on. Ambiguity, ambiguity most uncertainty of meaning. For example, the man could not life his lift his son because he was so weak. As a human, we can understand. But in the assumption, it's difficult to understand who is the weak, who cannot able to lift. So the man could not lift his son because he was so heavy. So when I can understand here, here we in the machine will understand who was the weak. Common language, case of language is the common language that are for most humans are never. Consider two sentences common. Man bite dog, dog bite man. So, as if we use the common sense, we know the dog bite man, but man cannot bite the dog. So, okay, this is the common sense place to difficult the NLP is very difficult, very problem. Creativity language is just a rule driven. Creative has various styles, genres, and variations, dialects, or using any language poems with a great example of. Creativity in language, making machine language understand creativity in there, or for not just NLP, but in the AI. So these other creative places need to work. So once we know how is this work, okay, what is the NLP pipeline? With so how to how we can work with NLP? We need to get the data preparation we need to clean the data to un to clean unnecessary data then future modeling modeling evaluation deployment monitoring and model can but we can use in the projects so these are the ways we can use the NLP the NLP NLP what are the types what are the places we can use the NLP and what the how the words we are maintaining using NLP, how to make the conversation with the machine using NLP. These are the topics we see now. We will see collab project in next time. Thank you.